Good morning folks, starting off in India with an unusual infant mortality event. Babies are dying in record numbers, mysteriously, over 120 in January, over 200 in February, and so far no answers. We have a slight uptick in seismicity in the Atlantic Ridge just south of Mexico. This is a cool article if you're a nerd like me and enjoy learning about the early Earth. Here's an interesting article describing a satellite that would beam us power from the sun. Not sure if this is actually going to work. I'll have to watch for this tomorrow. Looks like an interesting article, or at least it's going to be, but just a little premature with listing the article title here. Last bit of news. What are the chances that an avalanche would take out dozens of Pakistani soldiers? It's a little questionable. Having a look at Ovation Prime. Particle bombardment is mild this morning, quieted down from yesterday, but that won't last long. The little yellow dot here is Earth, and you should be able to see the incoming CME from three days ago. Probably should strike in the next 12 to 24 hours. There were a number of new eruptions last night. The only one facing Earth is this filament eruption here. Looking down at the right, we do see one of the far side eruptions. When we back out to the Soho, you can see numerous eruptions. On stereo A, with the Earth to the left, you can see some of the eruptions here on both sides, but unfortunately, the only ones on the New Day's Enlil Spiral are the ones coming from the back. Go figure. Winding up, folks, if you are familiar with the SDO site, you might know the Gong Calibrated map, but I bet you've never seen it like this before. It is my opinion that this is data error. When we come back and we look at the full sun plot, we do not see that magnitude of activity on the far side. Lastly, folks, dark coronal hole turning this way. Quake watch continues. Ask questions if you got them. Be safe, everyone.